Are you looking for that perfect sugar substitute that's as close to table sugar as possible? Well, today on WTF, we're going to show you how to use allulose to make a perfect sugar-free chocolate mousse and even a marjolaine. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, one of the owners of Modernist Pantry. Here on WTF, every Tuesday we cover unique ingredients, techniques, and show you recipes and demos that you can do in your own kitchen. So remember, subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll get notified of our content when it comes out. And today we're really excited because we're introducing a new sweetener to our line of sweeteners. And this product is called Allulose, so it has a lot of rapidly growing popularity for its similarities to sucrose. So today Scott is going to talk about, you know, what exactly makes Allulose special and different from all the other sweeteners, how do you use it, and of course, as you can see, there's some really great looking dessert here that I'm super excited about. So we're going to jump right into it. So Scott, why don't we start with, you know, we already already done a whole episode on sweeteners. Mm -hmm. Link in the description below if you want to watch that episode. But um, there's, you know, a lot of people that wanted allulose, that wanted to use it. What makes it special? Allulose tastes the most like table sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the big things. A lot of these sugar substitutes, they have a different flavor. I mean, mm -hmm. they're not the same thing, so they're going to have a different flavor. Sometimes it's just a lingering aftertaste, but allulose taste like sugar okay. or sucrose. So that's the best part about it because we made so many different things with it and every time we tried something, it just tastes like sugar. Yep. And with that, it has uh, you know zero calories. It does not affect you the same way sugar does. So it's great for people who have uh, you know either diabetes or just watching their sugar. So these mm -hmm. are really good things to, to look at and it tastes like sugar. So you get that for me, I taste it and I think I'm eating something bad, which is, you know, if I'm tasting something that doesn't have, uh, mm -hmm. you know, like a, if it has a sugar substitute in it, generally I, I can yep. tell. This one yeah. I cannot tell. That's like one of the most amazing things about it. Okay. So, yeah, so we made some really cool things. We wanted to really test it out just to see what can I do with this? Like, how much right. can I do with this? Uh, and one thing that we found out, which is actually really amazing, we didn't do anything with it, but it works in the same way that sugar does when you add it to a frozen like dessert. Okay. So it can lower the the, um, the freezing temperature. So when lowering the freezing temperature, you get uh, you know a better scoopability and things like that. So it works just in the same way that like a, a corn syrup would uh, in that. And if you take it and you do seventy percent uh, allulose to thirty percent water, you can then have like the same kind of corn syrup texture okay. and you can make it you know some syrup at home for yourself you can even make like simple syrups all mm -hmm. all sorts of things can be done with this and it's so easy to use and it tastes like sugar that's like the biggest thing yeah so when you're looking to uh, use it to substitute for sugar in a recipe mm -hmm. are you doing one to one are you adjusting the ratio what do people have to watch out for so i like to do it one to one it is 70 percent as sweet as sugar okay so it's not going to be you know, as sweet as sugar, but I also don't like sugar too much. I don't like it to be too sugar forward. So mm -hmm. it really depends on what recipe you're doing. If you wanted to increase it slightly to really get that full kind of sweetness, depending on your recipe, okay. then you can do that. Uh, but I like to just replace it one by one and it, or one for one, and it just does not affect me in, in the same way. Like I prefer it to be slightly less sweet, but just about everything. So. Yeah, and what have you found in your testing that made it different from um, sugar and yeah. also the other sweeteners? So that's, that's a great point. And mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we found is it's mixed with a protein and then heated, it tends to have that like browning way okay. earlier than other things. So like with this, uh, this dakwa we made, we really had to do it almost, you know, at around 100 degrees or below so we didn't get any coloring on it. Okay. And that's one issue that we found, not really an issue, it's just something that you have to look out for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to brown a lot quicker when mixed with a protein. Now, when we heat it in uh, syrup form, we got up to like 300 degrees. So mm, really not sure is why is that, that Maillard reaction is happening at such a low temperature. But it also another cool thing about that is that it was getting the same flavors of a caramel at low, low, low mm. temperatures, 150 degrees. So, so you could probably potentially do something that's really caramel forward and it tasted like a, a sugar caramel. Caramel, so that that's also really cool. Uh, but yeah, just watch out for that if you're mixing it with egg whites or anything like that. Super low temps, just basically dry it out rather than cook it. Great. Well, I'm yeah. excited to talk about today's recipes because they look so good. What do we have here? 
So we took uh, that DACQA I was just talking about, we made a Marjolaine. So Marjolaine is uh, basically a really big macaron with a lot of different things in it. Uh, so Ooh. we made a chocolate mousse. Everything mm -hmm. on here is made with allulose. So we made a chocolate mousse. We made a buttercream. The buttercream has toasted uh, hazelnuts and almonds in it. So mm -hmm. it's really rich and really flavorful. The sweetness all comes from the allulose. We made the dacqua, which is like a, a slightly crispy cookie. So there's layers of the you know chocolate mousse and the buttercream and the dacqua. And the buttercream, I'm sorry, and the, the mousse, you need to be a little bit weary of it because you're using 100% chocolate. Okay. Some people be like, oh, I'll just make chocolate mousse. I'll just use chocolate chips. That doesn't really work because those chocolate chips then have a lot of sugar okay. in them, right? So we did 100% chocolate. And when doing that, and we did an entire video on just the mousse, so you can really see how the mousse comes together and really helps, uh, you know, really works. If you do not work quickly with the mousse, you could potentially seize it because that 100% chocolate or 100% cocoa chocolate tends to seize up really quickly. But we're able to make a really easy mousse nice. uh, and no sugar. So if you want to try just the mousse, Janie, it's, it's super rich, it's super decadent, and you don't know there isn't sugar in yeah, it. Yeah, you right? can kind of see just from the way you scoop just how rich it is because a, that's a heavy scoop. And we went through the entire uh, method for making a mousse. Mm. So we didn't have to change anything. That's a big thing. We did not have to, oh, let's do a different method, right? Mm -hmm. We made a mousse the same method, used a, a sugar substitute, we used allulose, and it was able to work perfectly. So that's a really big thing. We used the syrup, you know, we heated it, we added it to our egg whites, we added it to our, um, our zabayon. So everything worked exactly the same. Mm. We did not have to change the recipe. So that's actually a really cool thing about this because Generally, you don't have to, or you yeah. cannot do that. It tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, mm, it, you definitely cannot tell. It, there's no like aftertaste. Yeah, no it's, off it's super flavor. clean, right? Mm. Yeah, so, so good. I'm going to make just a quick little, uh, you know, plated dessert using okay. the same uh, components as our marjolaine here. So I have our buttercream. So I'm just going to put a dot of the buttercream. And then I'm going to put one of the crispy dacqua leaning on it. And then we have our mousse. There we go. And then I'll place another one. So it's just a simple plated dessert. We can go back and forth with these. And it's a fun way to get basically the same components. You get a little bit more crispy because you get more of the uh, the dacqua. There we go. Ooh. Right. And then a little bit of garnish over the top. And whipped cream. And this is just whipped cream with no sugar in it, which you could add the allulose. But a really simple dessert, you can get all these flavors, all with that dacqua, and all of it made without sugar. Yeah, and that looks beautiful. So, I think what's really nice about this is that it's pretty easy to use. Um, we know that a lot of people are starting to use this product, so if you haven't yet, or if you've been looking for a different type of sweetener, and you just haven't found something that you've been happy with, I would really, really suggest giving Allulose a try, because it's so, um, it's just so easy. Yeah. So. Um, oh, yeah. What do we, are we making this on the video or just the mousse? We're just going to do the mousse, yeah. Okay, so you can catch the video of the mousse on this channel in a couple of days or right now available on our Instagram at Modernist Pantry. Mm -hmm. If you do use Allulose or you have any questions about Allulose, leave your comments below. We like hearing from you. Tag us on social media. It's really cool. And from, until next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wang. And I'm Scott Gatton. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified when we drop a new video. To get today's recipes and all of our recipes, remember to go to blog.modernistpantry.com where you get recipes, ask a chefs, tips and tricks, and more. And if you haven't already, tell a friend so they know what's going on here at WTF. And as always, to get any of the ingredients you saw today, you can go to modernistpantry.com to shop. And until next time, We'll be here in the test kitchen, helping you create memorable and magical experiences.